Hi family, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Tricia and welcome to the Dream Team family. Hello, if it is the first time to be here, please consider subscribing and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell that you'll never miss out any upload that you upload thrice a week, thrice a week, guys. And also for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always supporting me and loving what I do. I really do appreciate that. And so today we are back with another interesting video. As you can read from the title, I want to give you guys uh, the list of things that you must carry when you're traveling to qatar what should i carry i'm traveling to qatar what should i bring today i have decided to make this video specifically for you guys and i hope you guys will enjoy the video so if you're planning to come to qatar or even uh, going to another country in gulf this is mostly what you should bring with you let's jump direct to the video so there are several things that you might you have to carry when you come here there are some of them which are a must and some of them are not a must it's optional uh maybe i'll start by categorizing these things okay so let's start by clothes what cl type of clothes should i bring should i bring a lot of clothes or just a few clothes now about clothing here we first understand that it is some uh it is very hot most of the time is very hot and uh, most of the time it is very hot and uh, so in that case you you don't have to bring heavy clothes and uh, you know clothes that you may you, you have to put the clothes that we use in Kenya or back in Africa the climate here is different and totally crazy when it gets to to summer and even when it's not summer most of it you can't have a, a heavy clothes on you so that is uh, number one that you should consider when bringing clothes so bring light clothes like this also maybe like a light t-shirts uh, you can also bring one or two sweaters or one or two jackets for you to use when winter comes. But winter is not that crazy. And also one or two jackets that you will use when you are, in, you are in a place that there is a lot of AC and you need to like cover yourself. That is what you can use at that right moment. Now, uh, something else about clothing. You should bring clothes that are decent and that are not exposing your body first of all you have to know that i am having this because i am in the house and i am at home now suppose i'm living outside i will not live like this i'll have to cover myself with something more decent why it's not something bad but remember Qatar is a Muslim country that you have to to wear modest decency. So you don't have to go exposing your, your body, your hips, your whatever. You have to cover yourself. That is for the ladies. For the gents, you can bring anything. You can bring a vest. You can bring a, a short and anything that you will want to know mostly they check on ladies you're not supposed to just dress any howly another thing about clothing is that uh, you don't bring a lot of clothes you know here there are clothes also you know we buy clothes there's no point of you bringing three bags full of clothes and then when you're going and you still have bought the new stuff from here you start having excess uh, use excess luggage and all that just bring clothes that can take you for a whole week okay a whole week change of clothes and then from there since you've come here to work you will change clothes you start to buy there are sometimes which have offers you know sales there is also some online shopping which are cheaper than the you know than the no normal malls and so yeah you have to buy other clothes when you come here so don't bring a lot of clothes uh that is all that is it for clothes and number two which i should talk about is uh the Food, food, food. This is something that you'll have to come and adjust because food that we eat in Africa or rather in Kenya, it's not here. And the food that is here from Kenya, it's normally imported, you see? And uh, not everything, like cereals. Cereals, I, I, I can say, the dengus, the maharagwe, and uh, you know, the beans, maize, they are always imported. First of all, it's it's rare to get maize, not unless there's somebody who just came from Kenya who is selling maize currently as we speak because there are no shops that sell those uh, like uh, Kenyan maize, Kenyan food and all that. But you'll find some restaurants. There is a restaurant, one restaurant I know of that um, sells ugali, ugali and nyamachoma. But you see, this is something that you will not eat every day. So just bring your maize flour if you have to. But still, there are there is another maize flour that has been introduced here in Qatar called taifa. But taifa is quite 
you know it's quite expensive for a beginner since you are coming from home why don't you bring a 2 kg packet or a 4 kg packet for yourself and then after you finish that and you can start buying the taifa and otherwise we have another type of flour that we call semolina that is what we eat here it's totally different the taste the texture with our ugali it's totally different but within no time you'll start adjusting and you know already get used to this semolina and then for those people who eat omena, you can bring omena. There's no omena here. There's there's something close to omena, but they are they are a bit you know no no kidogo. They like it's not it's not like omena zenyetumezoea. So you can bring omena for yourself, and uh, you can also bring something like blue band. We don't have blue band here. Uh, something else about food is uh, you know if you can be able, there is a way people go and buy skuma wiki and then dry them in Kenya and bring them while they are dry. If you know how to do that. That, that way of preservation you can do that and bring your skuma wiki because here we don't have skuma wiki totally totally kabisa kabisa we don't have skuma wiki so some of this food you'll you'll start missing them you'll start missing them from home but yeah it's advisable if you can bring yourself something just bring well, things like uh ungaya uji you know porridge flour you can bring also you make your uji here we also have you know porridge flour but it's not like that of home so if you want to like uh, make yours make the best you can just bring us from home uh number three that i should talk about this one is basically meant for ladies uh is about the hair the hair is so so freaking expensive to maintain the hair here so we don't have these braids and those people who have braids and even a shop that i saw they have started selling these uh, kenyan things you you will have to buy it at a, at a at a higher cost okay so if you are home and you want to come here and you make your hair like mine why don't you bring your uh, uh, quite a number of braids you know 10 20 pieces of braids bring for yourself so that you'll not be overcharged and uh, that one will push you until you start earning until you start getting money and uh, buy from the people who are selling still here um things like a uh, hair products like uh the hair food the sprays the everything that you use as a hair product in africa it is not found here it is not not unless you start talking about the shampoos and the conditioners those are here but still you'll find some of them are are just brands from from within the area not from africa but you can't lack something like that whatever the shampoo you want or uh, something close to what you use you can get it but these uh, hair products of our african hair it's crazy also something else that you might bring you might consider bringing is your uh, is the if there is a specific lotion that you use if there is a specific you know uh, face cream that you use most likely it might not be here so just check your your skincare products your hair products your beauty products all those check what you might need and then bring it uh, as you prepare to start getting used to what you'll find here so another thing that i should mention that you should not leave which is so important is uh, your documents your documents are like your passport your visa your job offer letter your contract letter all of this job offer letter and contract letter obviously you live with them from kenya whether you're using the agency whether you've come with a job directly hired you'll have these documents before you travel so it's good for you to remember all your documents uh, right now we're also having uh documents like the covid test certificate we are also having like a good conduct certificate which is a must right now in qatar and also in dubai i understand it's a must and also this good conduct must be attested and also if it is for your is if it is your first time to come here you will also need a ministry of labor letter which you'll go and get it from the ministry of labor offices in kenya these are the things that you might need to have or might need to know otherwise this life here you'll just come and start getting used to it you know it's life it's life when you, when you go to rome do like romans do okay so that is it that is basically it there's a lot of changes that you'll come and find here there's a lot of adjusting that you'll do this place is really hot it's really hot it's not even compared to any country in africa it's nothing it's nothing so this place is hot so just come and uh you know adjust to the moment adjust to the reality when you get here uh i promise you that if you come here on summer ah uh, you won't like it you won't like it if you come here for your first time in in summer season like right now when you leave when you alight the flight 
you will just feel you know you will just feel the warm air you are breathing you are breathing hot air <laughs> i don't know if you can understand me but anyway that is it those are just the the few things that i could i would mention that you have to bring with you when you are coming here just make sure that you don't bring a lot of clothes uh, just to repeat don't bring heavy clothes don't bring a lot of clothes don't bring you know just bring if you if you cool you know in fact a good tip if you cool just carry two three four pairs of clothes and then the rest of your kgs that you're given fill it with clothes we fill it with food yeah that's a good tip fill it with food because yo if you're coming here for two years before you go home you'll have missed the food hey akina mutura akina smoky pasua akina mayai pasua you know easy my street street foods that we eat my niza kuchomo kwa barabara i'm a fan of those street foods so it's it's really <laughs> you have to adjust we don't have such things here so i hope this video have uh, made sense i hope you have grabbed one or two three things and yeah there's nothing else I've forgotten. Now that you're finished packing, just pack safely. I wish you a safe travel. And then when you get here, just make sure you look for me and say hello. Okay, so yeah, thank you so much for showing me love. This video was nothing serious. It was nothing much. That's why we are just, you know, I just decided we are, we are going to do it like this. And uh, as long as the message has gotten to you, period okay thank you so much for your love always supporting me and showing me love and if you've come to this far and you've not subscribed yet and if this video has made has has added value to you like it subscribe it and share also in the comment section show me love okay i love you so much guys until the next one bye bye